<laughs> Put A instead of B. Have a rock to get us back over there. Dear, oh dear, rain comes down so suddenly here. I hate it. The Don Dons don't seem to mind though. Oh. oh my, you must have come quite a long way. Uh. This is a sanctuary for Don Dons, the new animal species discovered by Princess Zelda. Don Dons are quite precious as we've only found five of their kind in the wild. Please be gentle if you touch them. They might look intimidating, but You've got nothing to worry about. They're a good natured sort. When the princess came to research the Dondons, they used to go tromping around after her wherever she went. I think they're actually quite fond of us two-legged folk. Mm -hmm. That reminds me, did you hear the rumor that Princess Zelda's being, being seen riding a beast? Well, I bet that, I bet what people actually saw was her with a Dondon back when she established the sanctuary. Just goes to show how much rumor can take on a life of their own. Dondons aren't beastly, they're adorable. Oh. Excuse me, but you can't take that gem. Oh. The gem is a precious clue to understanding Dondon's lives and habits. Mm. You'll have to bear with me, it's a bit of a long story. One day, some luminous stones I'd picked up fell out of my bag. Before I knew it, a Don Don charged over and then, jump jump, it gobbled the luminous stones right up. Mm -hmm. These animals show no interest in food. And then luminous stones, of all things, sparkle, spark their hunger. I was shocked. After a while, we found gems on the ground where the Don Dons grazed. Those are the gems. Uh -huh. Where they came from remained a little uncertain. Remains a little uncertain, but I think the Dondons could create them after eating luminous stones. If that's the case. I might learn more after the nature of Dondons by stu studying those. So please don't take them. I feed my luminous stones to them and get precious stones. Maybe if I could find them.
Well, I don't know. Guess it could take more than five, but I'm not worry, willing to experiment. A little known fact that our stable receives orders from Princess Zelda herself. At her direction, we opened a sanctuary for a new animal species. It's right across the ravine there. Huh. Ordinary visitors can't easily reach it, but with this telescope or the, or the like, you might be able to snatch a glimpse. Anyway, once again, yeah. thanks for coming to coming in such bad weather. Whoa. Oh, God. Now then. Once again. Uh. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Oh. Constantly. When it's raining, the well the well behind the stable is too full for me to go inside. But when the skies are calm, the water in the well disappears and I can give it a good scrub. Uh. As for when the rain might die down next, that's anyone's guess. crying out loud. All the places those monsters could go. They decide to settle down in those caves? Our caves? I wonder if there's some way to chase them out in the stable. Huh? Oh, hello, hello. I was so deep in thought, I didn't notice you there. You did happen to, uh, hear that. I was saying, did you? I guess you did hear. There are three caves that appear around here after the upheaval. They're all up there. One is near Corda Lake. Another next to Re Rhode Island Lake. The last over by Kalawara Lake. Though it's hard to see where they are with the unfortunate with this unfortunate hmm. weather. Huge deposits of luminous stones can be mined in those caves. So they're popular spots for travelers, where they were. When the three giant Monster Brothers showed up. Those three used to be over in Terran Pass to the northeast, but now they're in our region, hogging the caves for themselves. Uh... If we don't do something, travelers will stop coming here, and business at the stable will dry up. Uh... I can't win. It's not as though they'll up and leave.
Hey, you. You're not carrying anything that made it. I didn't prove clothes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care. I'm asleep till morning. Ooh. In a regular bed. That I'm paying for. Oh. Uh -huh. Let's see if the rain stops. But uh, I doubt it. Oh, it did. Oh. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Thanks for lodging with us. We represent sent you a one point. Ooh. When it's raining, we'll be behind the stable is too full, so we go outside inside. <laughs> oh. I think I might be glitched out. They do help quite a bit with visibility. Thinking this one might just be a well. That's the entrance. Oh. Uh, this is probably where we pick the light, bright bloom seeds. It is. And it doesn't seem there's anything else. Oh. 
nice of it to have stopped raining. If we can make this climb and there ain't no flat or even kind of flat areas you might we're almost there but y'all can't see because of that bomb leaf oh, Bridges. Well, there's a nice bridge right here. could take one tile out of that. That bridge was a little saggy. This isn't just about building bridges. This is about building them right. That makes sense. Come on. 
not going to let me do it, is it? I want to loop around. Back to back on itself. Nope. Not going to let me do it. Also not allowing me to attach it to here. I don't know why it wouldn't let me loop it back on itself. It should have. At least it didn't start us back at the beginning of this run. be okay, I think. There's probably a much easier way to get to Laurelin Village so we can go fight those pirates, but we can't see the road without getting the uh, <clears throat> survey tower, Skyview Tower. And Skyview Tower is really out there. Assuming what I think is the Skyview, the right Skyview Tower is the right Skyview Tower. Huh. 
Three of them, I think. That's a fire one. Fire breathers. I don't know about him. But I don't see a reason to attack them. It's not like they're guarding something. Uh, that's just... this way. That's gotta be both goblin. Thing. Old Bo Coblin camp or something? I'm heading towards the green marker, although the green marker is not actually <laughs> marking anything. It was just a, hey, you need to go this way marker. Rico's on the other side of these mountains. <laughs> Ooh. That keeps gonna done damage to us, but that have been stupid. Just flew to us and stayed there. like smoke. And that kind of looks like a building off there to the right, right off the edge of the mountains. Maybe we found it. Maybe I actually placed my marker pretty good. Right? I sure as crap did. Wow.
Maybe? Are the pirates for goblins? Yeah? Okay. There's a boss for goblin on the ship. Just be able to climb on, but that's not gonna work. gonna get that lucky in my Oh, I did, actually. the boss book album.
I didn't even realize I ate an attack up potion. What am I doing? Other than wasting. Oh. Oh, I know what I'm trying to do. in the crow's nest. See anyone in the crow's nest? No one in the crow's nest. Okay, I still have a goblin over there. Oh man, we gotta start the whole thing up. The whole thing. Somebody in there. Human.
That guy went straight back to sleep. I think that might cover all the troops that were not on the boat, on the ship. I wish I could call for help, but then they'd find me. Maybe I'll just whisper it as loud as I can.
Why didn't I get lightning there? We got this. Put his treasure chest off in the water. You going back to sleep?
That's the ship. Supposed to be spider webs. What the heck happened? I triggered her ability so I could walk up there and shoot in the center of them. And it didn't have time to time out. But it timed out anyway. I'm gonna go get the shrine. I'm gonna do something different for a second. Goblin camp up here too. No. Okay. Those pants look familiar. Yeah, I know that dude. Um. I can't think of what his name is. They've destroyed the village. It's ruined. Mm -hmm. No way we're getting close with all those monsters around. Mm -hmm. Why do I get the feeling we're being watched? Oh. Ah. Were you planning to visit Lurlin Village? 
You might want to make other plans if you value your life. Not to ruin your travel plans, but as head of the village, it's my duty to protect locals and visitors alike. Huh. Me it might be difficult to see in the dark. But monsters have taken over the village. I don't know if they're after food or supplies or what have you. But the minute they arrived, they started acting like they owned the place. Um. By some bit of luck, everyone from the village managed to escape in one piece. But with their homes destroyed and nowhere to live, well, the villagers have scattered to the four winds. If only those monsters weren't there. Master Builder that I am, aha, that's who it is. I'd have those buildings fixed up in a jiffy. <laughs> There's certainly been an increase in monsters in monsters lately. I wonder if it's because of the upheaval. And they seem to have seem more aggressive too. I never thought they'd be bold enough to launch an attack from the sea. They're behaving just like pirates. As long as even a single one of them remains, it's too dangerous to go anywhere near the villain. That's why he looks familiar, because he's Bolson. <laughs> Chief Human. Sif Human. see what we've got whatever no really oh. proving grounds whoa Out the boat at least to start with. Did I miss it in here?
What the? That's gonna give me jack on that. Look like it. Some damage to him. Maybe not a lot. was not, not at all what I was attempting to do. Oh, man. He must be really heavy. Because he overbalanced that real fast. Let us climb. Thank you. 
does this one have another level? And Link's feet would be freezing. Once we slowed down instead of trying to rush into that one, it was actually pretty easy. Captain Two Reaper? Stick with this for a second. 